Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today I'm going to be talking to you about buying graphic cards. That's right, actually being able to buy graphic cards at a reasonable price, even in these tough market conditions. I'm tired of hearing all the doom and gloom news that you see on social media, YouTube, as well as the news that there's no graphic cards. And there's a lot of validity. It's true. We strive to be a solutions channel. And we're going to try to give you some new and innovative creative ways that you can find graphic cards, even in this tough and challenging market. We've been able to do it. If you haven't already subscribed, slam down on that subscribe button. If you're looking for your next GPU, stick with me and let me show you how. The Newegg Shuffle, if you're not familiar with it, uh, Newegg is, you know, obviously it's a big uh, PC retailer online and they have a daily shuffle. And their daily shuffle is normally graphic cards, sometimes it's Xboxes, Playstations. They love to bundle items. So they'll typically be a graphic card and a motherboard, a graphic card and a power supplier or something. Occasionally you'll get solo items and you have a chance of winning, but it's, you have a more likely chance of winning it, I think as part of a combo. I've already made my selections today, but just take a quick look. You'll see there's an Asus Tough 3060, it's a V2 card. So there's a lot of single cards that I would be interested in because they were you know, reasonable price. This motherboard I wouldn't mind having, that's why I collect it. And this one too, if you notice, it's a graphic card, it's a 3060 Ti, but it has memory to it. So if I buy this graphic card and I buy the memory and the memory is probably like $140 more, it's not that bad of a deal. I can always either use the memory or help a buddy out or use it in a PC build. But sometimes they have these, you have to buy it with this like huge monitor or some very, very, you know, to me, it's bad deal. Unfortunately, the market's deteriorated that say, hey, buy something that's useful and we're going to make you get something you don't even want just so we can clear our inventory out. So you have to be careful in what you pick. Mm, not today. When you do see days that you see stuff that you really like, I enter it in my account. I also know my wife's account, my mom's account, and I'll go in and I'll enter them. And they're all valid accounts. Key thing is to make sure there's a valid phone number and stuff associated with it too, and a valid address for the shipping. So you at least will get notified. They won't say it's a fake account. And if you have a problem doing it from your computer, just open up a private browser, log in from the private browser. This way it doesn't already say, hey, you're all set again. If I try to open up another session, even if I log in in another account, it says, nope, you've already entered. Just open up a private browser, log in as that other account, and make your submission. And sooner or later you win. Oh, look, it's ended. So I'll find out in a few hours if I won or if this is even winning. On to the next. Next up on our GPU hunt is EVGA and the EVGA Q. EVGA has recently refined its Q policy because originally you could come in and just enter your name and add a bunch of different cards to it on the list. And eventually you will get called. It may take six months. It may take a year sometimes to get called. But now they're saying, okay, anyone who's already gotten an item on the queue, they're kind of pushed back to the back of the list that they want to have newcomers. They want to have new gamers or new people who haven't gotten a card from EVGA Q have a fair chance. So they're prioritizing if you've never received or purchased a card from the EVGA Q, you're going to have priority over someone who's already gotten something from the Q for, I believe for the RTX 30 series cards. So that gives you a better chance. Essentially, it's just coming to the Q. You're going to log in. You're going to have to sign up for it. The queue system will be rolled back. They're doing some revisions to give, you know, again, people who are newcomers, they'll give them a better chance than people coming and getting a second, third, fourth card. So it's just an option for you. It takes a few minutes, go in, register, add your name to the queue. Sometimes it's suspended, sometimes it opens. When the queue is open, just get your name on the queue and just wait and you'll get a notify email. When you get notified, I think you have 20 hours or somewhere about that to check out. And then you check out and then you get an EVGA card right from the manufacturer at MSRP. So that would be a huge win. Um, I actually just got a notification for a 3070 Ti card. So I'm finally getting my further win 3070 Ti card. I got the notification the other day and I checked out and it should be here in a few days. So we'll be doing some tests and benchmarks on that soon too. EVGA queue, they have to be patient. You'll eventually get there and there's no obligation. So if you're in the queue, you have so much time when they notify you, you have 20 hours about to check out. If you check out, do. If you decide, hey, it's not what I want, it's not worth it to me, then just let it go. There's no commitment to buying it. Also, before I forget, we are an EVGA associate. So we're going to put our associate code down below. If you do get your notification or if you even want to buy some regular power supplies and stuff from them, you'll get a discount using our code. Use our associates code, supports our channel. We really appreciate it. You'll get a discount from the item you purchase and it helps support our channel and we really appreciate it. So again, our associate code will be down below if you need and if you're going to be making any purchases at EVGA. 
Next up is the Zotac store. Zotac is very similar to EVGA in that they make their own graphic cards as well as they have their own online store. Uh, Zotac store is a little bit more challenging sometimes because they have a lot of captures and they have pick these planes from the images, pick all this. You have to go through a lot of verification to get in sometimes. But what you should do is just go to the Zotac store if you haven't already or if you may be interested in their card. Look at what they have. Create an account in advance. And when you create an account in advance, then at least you have that information because two nights a week, it's usually like Tuesday and Thursday between 6 and 7 p.m., somewhere around that time, Eastern Standard Time, they'll open up a special queue and you'll get an email notification if you registered that you're interested in a card and they'll send you an email notification, hey, the queue is open now. And you just jump back into this queue store. And it's hard to get into sometimes. And you finally get into it, it'll say, okay, well, you're in the queue now. And the queue is, it's an active queue. You're not gonna be waiting all days or anything else like that. It's, it's a short time. You could be number one, you could be number 10,000, but you can be in that queue and the queue, everyone gets in the queue, has a few minutes to go in. If they wanna buy something, check out and be done. So it moves up pretty quick. And when you come into the queue drop, the site looks very, very different. You don't just come into the site to buy it. You'll actually get put in a queue and you'll just watch this queue number. Like originally when I came into the queue this day, it was like number 4,231. And I was like, wow, I'm really like really on the back of the list. I wasn't gonna get nothing. But you watch it go down and over time, it took a little while, but I got down until 4,000s through the 3,000s, 2,000s, 1,000s, boof, sure enough, I finally got in. Once I got in, I already had to be pre-registered, remember, so I already have your ID set up for the store, but I had five minutes to check out. Also, I believe you're only allowed to buy one card every month or one card every two weeks. I got to check that. And I got into the site and I'm like, okay, I didn't think there was really going to be much left. It was kind of felt a little discouraging, but I went through graphic cards and went through RTK, RTX 30 series cards. And I looked through everything to see what was available. I went down to list page two and there's actually a page three at the time. And on page three, I found a beautiful 3060 Ti, like a white Zotac card. So I bought that that night, it was MSRP, but it's my first Zotac, still in a box. I'm gonna be doing a review on that soon. Don't be discouraged. Even if you get into the queue and you're number 4,000 or 5,000, just really comb through the site. Cause I think this was just probably left over. Someone didn't look and go all the way down the list of everything available. There's multiple pages. Also, a lot of the other higher price items like the 3080 Ti's and the 3090's, I could go in right now and I could just add to cart and buy this if this fit my budget. I already have a, a 3080 Ti, so I'm not interested in this one. Maybe it's something that you would be. They have a section up top too of refurbished cards. So sometimes they'll have refurbished cards that they fix and then they put it back out with a warranty. I've already gotten some very, very bare basic like 710 or other cards just for some bare basic builds that I had to do. But again, comb the site you hear anyway, come and see what they got. Sometimes I'll have promotional open box stuff. You don't know if you don't try. So just lift up everything, see everything that's there and maybe you'll get lucky. Another option for you to try. And if you get into the queue, even if you're not at the very, very front, I know the people who get the first few hundred numbers, they're a lot better than the people at the back of the line. I got a card and I was number 4,321 or something like that. I still got a card. Whoa. So don't be discouraged. Keep the faith, keep plowing through it. And eventually you'll get through and hopefully you'll get that card you want. Next stop, Micro Center. Micro Center is a computer retailer and they're located across the US, different cities. They've been a great source to find graphic cards periodically. They also have done things, I believe, with queues in store. Sometimes they've done overnight drops and campouts. I, the policy changes, so you should really check with your local store. They also regularly have supplies of certain AMD cards in stock. So although they're not as high as in demand, if you're interested in an AMD card, they have them. But some of the prices I'm hearing are, are pretty high, or well, they seem almost jacked up a little bit. I was actually already in the store on a micro center. I walked in and I got there right at the right time. The UPS or FedEx delivery just came in and boom, there was a bunch of RTX 30 series cards right there. So bang, just you know I came home with one. If you live close to a micro center, go check it out. Go to the build department, talk to them. They'll usually give you some advice and suggestions. Also, sometimes they'll do pre-built or custom pre-built. If, if you see a pre-built there with a card, but maybe it doesn't have something, they can maybe even modify it for you. That's just another option for you to consider. So on to the next stop. One of my next favorite stops, and it's probably one of the least known or least used, is your local PC builders. And when I say local, I'm probably talking within maybe 100 to 200 mile radius of me. With them, especially if you look for the ones that are near college universities, 
because college kids love to play games. So there's always good PC builders there to keep those college kids playing games. And they ha usually have their connections to get some AIB cards. Maybe it's an ASUS or MSI or EVGA. Call them, see if they get inventory, if they're expecting anything. They have to be building PCs, so they got to be getting cards somewhere. Call them, talk to them, see what they have, see if they do have something available, or maybe some of the ones even local by me. I call them and they say, oh no, maybe towards the end of the week. I call back at the end of the week and they say, yeah, we just got some of this in. And I'll be like, okay, they'll either let me sometimes make a payment over the phone and then I'll go take a hundred mile ride each way to get a card, but at least I was able to get it. Sometimes too, they'll even offering half of the order that they get from the AIB, they'll ship it. So you could get it shipped to you or some of it then too is just going to be dedicated for in-store. Definitely do not overlook this one because I promised I've gotten a handful of cards this way. They were great cards and usually they were just marked up a little bit over MSRP, but still to me, full hash cards. It was a great deal. So just don't overlook this one. It's so obvious it's right in front of you, but just call your local PC shops and builders besides even Micro Center. This is one of my favorite picks make a day from it make a gpu hunting road trip i've had good luck with get doing this when i am able to find one and especially if i have to drive it my wife and i will usually make a road trip we'll go and drive a couple hours pick up a car get a card or two sometimes get it a little bit over on or close to msrp get a fair deal get home supporting a local shop which feels great too do not overlook this one these stores stay open they have to have cards for their customers they can't just be making pcs with no graphic cards i've had very good luck buying from local builders close to or around college universities especially next up on our gpu hunt is going to be ant online and ant online offers gpu bundles it's usually with gigabyte or evga they often bundle it with a graphic card and power supply similar to newegg and sometimes their deals are reasonable the nice part is when they have stuff and you can see it's add to cart it's not a shuffle you just go add to cart you check out you're done just make sure this bundle is, suits your budget and what you need and does what you want to do i'm seeing a gigabyte rtx 3060 with a motherboard the 679 i could add that to cart right now and aorus 3060 elite 12 gigabyte card with a motherboard that's 739 i could add that to cart they have sometimes they even bundle it with uh, cpus as well i know they have evga bundles frequently and if I'm looking for the EVGA, so look, EVGA 3080 Ti XC3s with monitor and game pass. And that's a big of super bundle, I guess, a lot of stuff. I'm not telling you what to buy, just telling you what stuff is out there. and You can buy it right now. So 3060 EVGA 3060 XC gaming, 8 gig. That's 849 with a power supply. Some of these other items, 3060 Ti for the win bundled, 874. A 3070 Ti with Supernova 750, it's 1124, 3080 LHRR, seems high, 1634. There's other items that people who are looking, they do look here often. This is kind of in a sense, similar to the new egg shovel in the, in the sense that it's a bundle. So let's make sure it's items at least you can use or you have some utility to either sell or give to a buddy something that you have in here. These items are available in stock to buy. I've already purchased from them, never had any problems, just paid it. I gave him my shipping information a few days later. Knock, knock at the door. Shipping box there. Oh, perfect. Never was. I had a brand new EVGA 3060 XC3. I think it came with the power supply. These are available right now to buy. So if it suits your budget and you can use some of the bundled items and if it seems fair to you, they're there. They're in stock right now. So let's get back on the GPU hunting train. On to the next up. Best Buy offers you one of your highest chances of obtaining your graphic card, either at their in-store events that often require you to camp out 24 hours or longer just for the chance at a decent graphic card, or at their online drops. Although their online drops are random in time, there's techniques that can show you how to receive notification and participate on them in time. There's also additional strategies that I've developed on how to set up your account and be able to navigate through the checkout process. I've actually created an entire video on this on our channel, and it's called How to Buy GPUs from Best Buy Step-by-Step. Step. I'm going to be putting a link down below for you, and it contains a wealth of information and tips and strategies. I'm going to show you a lot of the different screens you're going to encounter in this multi-step checkout process and how to be able to get that GPU that you're hunting for. I've used this time and time, and I've refined it again and again. This will definitely help boost your skills to get the GPU you're looking for at Best Buy. I hope this video gave you some new and creative ways to find graphic cards, even in these challenging markets. They're out there and you just gotta hunt them down. 
If you haven't already subscribed, slam down on that subscribe button. I'll be posting updates as we learn them and hopefully give you even more tips going forward. If you've liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up like. Until then, stay safe. We'll see you in the next video. Happy mining.